Hi children, I'm back with a wonderful story today for all of you. Do you want to know what it is? It's the story of a wolf and the seven kid goats. Are you ready? Long time ago, by the edge of a forest, there lived a mama kid goat along with her little seven kid goats. And these little ones happily used to play in the meadows, jumping, rolling, dancing every day. And of course, children, there was also a wicked wolf in the forest. And one day, as the goats were playing in the meadow, the wicked wolf slowly came there and he looked from behind a tree. Oh! What a tasty meal it is for me, the soft lamb chops. It's been a long time that I had a good meal. Let me do something and have a tasty dinner tonight. He thought to himself and he slowly walked and hid behind the grasses and big big shrubs. And the mama kid goat was about to go to the market. So what did she do? She called all the seven little children inside the house and told them, my dear children, I'm going out to the market to get you some cookies and some bread as well. So all of you stay inside. Do not come out and beware of the wolf that is wandering in the surroundings and do not open the door until you hear my voice. Okay. But the youngest of the children asked his mama, but mama, how do we know that it is you? Then mama said, children, the voice of the wolf is very hoarse and it has got black feet. So do not open the door until you hear my voice and you see my feet. Saying this, Mama Goat left out, assuring herself that all the doors are locked. And the kid goats, after their mama left, happily started playing inside the house. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Hello children, open the door, your mother is back. And the little one thought his mama has come and was about to run and open the door. But the eldest of all was very clever. He said, you little silly fellow, do not open the door. It's not your mama. Then what did he do? He said, you big bad wolf, go back. Our mama has not got such a hoarse voice like you. Her voice is very sweet. And the wolf heard this and she, he ran away. And then what did he do? He went inside the forest and searched for some honey from the beehive. He took honey from the beehive and gulped. <coughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, now my voice sounds good. And immediately he rushed back to the house and knocked. Hello little children, open the door, your mama is back. And now this time, the youngest one told his brother, Brother, the voice is sweet. I think mama has come. But the eldest one is very clever. He looked at the feet from under the door and said, You big bad wolf, go back. We will not open the door. Your feet are black and our mama's feet are white and beautiful. Hearing this, the wolf ran to a baker. And she, uh, he asked the baker for some floor and he put the floor all over his body and he became white from head to toe. And then again he rushed. <coughs> Hello children, your mother is back. I brought some bread and cookies for you. Open the door, he said. And everyone looked at the feet too. They were white and the voice too, it was sweet. And poor little kid goats thought it must be their mother. And so they went and opened the door. And they were shocked to see the 
wolf standing there with a big cloth. <laughs> you silly little fellow, see how did I fool you? Saying this, he dusted off the entire floor. And the kids got scared. And they went inside and they started hiding at different places. One inside the cooker, one behind the oven, one under the bed. One covered himself with a bed sheet and one hid behind the grandfather's clock. <coughs> and one in a bucket and one behind the door. And they were all crying. And the wolf did not leave them. He went slowly in search of them and took one by one from different places and rolled them like a soft ball and oh, gulped them. And he slowly went out. All the six kids he could eat but did not find the little one who was hiding behind the grandfather's clock. The wolf slowly walked, slowly walked. His tummy was very heavy as all the kid goats were inside. He could not walk further and so he rested under a tree not far off. When Mama got returned, she was startled to see the door open. She dropped the things down and ran inside and saw kids were not there. And she started crying and shouting for them. And the little kid goat heard the voice of his mother and he opened the clock and came running. Mama, Mama, the wicked wolf has eaten all my brothers and sisters. Please, what, would, what do we do now? He started crying. Then both of them went in search of the wolf. And not far off, they found the wolf resting under a tree. And his tummy was full. Then Mama Goat called the little one and whispered in his ear, Go home and get a pair of scissors, a needle and a thread quite and fast. The little one ran home and he brought. Then Mama Goat slowly cut the stomach of the wolf and he and she picked out one after the other all her babies and then she collected heavy stones and put them back in the tummy of the wolf and stitched it and all the kid goats and their mama went home and they stayed behind the doors next day morning when the wolf got up oh i'm feeling very heavy Oh, and thirsty, of course. I need to walk towards the well for some water. He got up, got up, he was walking. Oh, he was feeling very heavy because it was the stones that were there in the stomach. He walked hard, walked hard and reached the well. But when he was about to drink the water, bending a little tut, he fell down inside the well and could never come out and he died and the little kid goats along with their mother stayed happily in their house again how oh, that was very good did you all enjoy okay see you again with another wonderful story next time till then bye bye